What's up guys? Today we got a surprise for you. A new toy to play with. So my buddy Dan's been trying to get me to tune this car for a while. Uh, he sends me cars from time to time over the years, but I don't have any more garages where I'm at now. I don't have space to have a car dumped off, so I just keep pushing it off. And one day he said, you know what? I'm just gonna drop a whole trailer, car, everything off. You get to it when you get to it. And I said, well, you better send me something cool. <laughs> he always does, but you know. So uh, today we're gonna go and go ahead and open this thing finally. I've, it's been sitting here for like six plus months and uh, I'm excited to see what's in there. He usually does send me something fun. So let's go check it out and see what it is. Oh yes, O3 Cobra. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, tailpipes are missing. Ooh, look at those tires. Oh, let's check this thing out. Let's get this trunk unlocked. Ooh, battery back here. Not too much of a surprise. Pretty sure this thing's gonna be dead as a doornail. In fact, I'm pretty sure Dan said it was dead when he delivered it to me. And uh, it's been sitting here for a while. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no trunk tank. Huh. Okay, I expected a trunk tank. Let's see what else we got. No exhaust. Ooh, turn downs over here. I see that. Oh, solid axle. Okay. I see some Viking shocks. Okay, okay. It's looking up. This might be something fun to play with. What are these? That doesn't. Drag radials, maybe? We'll check those out in a, in a second. Oh, this trailer's got one of these driver's side access door deals. Nice, let's get on the side here and take a look. Whoo, that's nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Is this good? Okay, okay, radial pros on some welds. Dang, it looks good. Let's see that up front. Say, oh, oh no, the tires are flat. Oh, we'll get that sorted. Oh, hold on. I only see two pedals and a funky shifter. What's up? That up there? I see a gauge up there. What's that? Trance, yes, okay. Oh, and some cool switches. <laughs> we'll figure out what that does. Man, what is that? Has he got nitrous on there or something? We'll figure that out. Okay, so that's what he did. I told him bring me something cool. It's an automatic swapped terminator. Now I'm really curious to see what's under the hood. Well, hold up, there's another door. Let's get that open. Get some more light in here. Whoa, that's a heavy hood. <laughs> I've been used to lifting uh, all the ones on hood shocks. Dang. I forget what a difference that makes. Whoa, that's a busy engine bay. Okay, what's that? Oh, transmission cooler up here. Oh, so he's got a, that's a coolant bottle up top here. That's why he doesn't have a trunk tank. What is that? Oh, look, Gen 5 Whopple. 3 oh, that's pretty fun. I don't think I've tuned one of those yet. That is a big throttle body. This must be the new, what's that, 150 millimeter, I think? The oval one? Nice. See a fuel pressure regulator there on the rails. Obviously, power steering still in there. Aftermarket coolant tank. This, of course, would be where the factory supercharger coolant bottle normally is. That big intake. Most of this stuff looks normal. Caster camber plates. What is that? Oh, that must be dipstick for the transmission. That's unusual. You don't only see those on Cobras. <laughs> a lot of hoses. I wonder why there's a join in here. Oh, it's got a custom setup here. This must be the Whipple crossover setup. It's all silicon. And a piece to join in here. It looks like they had a molded into the silicon for a sensor over there. What lower is that? I think that looks like the factory lower. 
Oh man, what is that? Aftermarket tensioner. Oh, something interesting happening there. Looks like a power point sending out some custom wiring, probably because there's a pump under here, a more powerful one that's wired in. Oh, I can see fans back here. There must be a big heat exchanger here. Yep. I wonder how big that one is. Might have to get this car up in the air. Look it over some. Try to take care of those poor tires. At this point, I gave Dan a call so I could get some more information about the car. Now that I've seen it and I knew more or less what I was working with, I wanted to know more about the setup on the car and what exactly he wanted me to do besides tuning because it was obvious it needed more than just a tune. All right, well, there we have it. So it sounds like quite a build. It's Gen 5 Whipple 3.0. He said it was a stock motor and had a few little things in it. Basically, ARP hardware, um, GC500 lash adjusters. Not quite sure why. That wasn't, that's not a stock lower. I thought I had a stock lower in there. It's actually a full pounder, he said. Um, C C85 in the tank. He wants me to switch it to pump E85. Stock rear and gears. It's got a um, reverse manual, turbo 400 in it. So that's kind of interesting. A solid rear axle. Um, so this will make some interesting projects. He said to me, swap it to a standalone. So he wants me to throw an MS3 Pro in there, uh, hook up some dual wide bands. Um, we'll do some CAN bus based ones, I think, and then maybe even build a, a screen, like a, a Raspberry Pi dash screen in there with gauges and whatnot. So this would give us quite a few interesting little projects to go. And uh, he told me, get this thing tuned, uh, run it hard, run it good, put it on the dyno, take it to the track. So let's, let's, uh, let's get this thing fired up, I guess. Hope it fires up. Probably should have asked that, huh? <laughs> Boy, this is a cheesy battery box, I gotta say. It's like various pieces that are all just loose. And then you gotta take this bracket here, slip it down on there, get this lid on, and then you gotta spin down these nuts and bolts to kind of hold all this together in here. I'll show you the one on my car. It's also an aluminum box, but what a difference. See, look at that, it's all fully welded, solid. Nice quick release clips. Two seconds, the lid's off, and then the cable's come in on top instead of down the side. That other one, those cables come up the side, and you've got to try and turn them in over there. These just have terminals on top, just drops right on top, super easy. And these nuts, I the bars down below have studs welded down, so you can just spin these off without having to get under the car and hold the bottom side as well. Overall, 100 times easier. <laughs> And I don't know, maybe this doesn't meet certain track requirements and stuff. I'm not a big track guy, and I know Dan is, so maybe that's why he has that set up. But for your average street use, man, this is the way to go. See, this is the other fun part. I dropped the battery in, I spun these nuts down, but now this whole rod turns. I have to get somebody under the car to hold the other end. It's not a one-man job. Not fun. <laughs> All right, trying to get this lid on, you gotta get these studs to align up, and all the whole thing is not working <laughs> uh, okay all right i'm done complaining dan get a new box okay i need to get this thing backed out of the trailer and i already know it's going to be an interesting ordeal look at this so we have a uh looks like a hearst pistol grip shifter on a he thinks it's a reverse manual valve body transmission turns out a shop has just recently built this for him and he's never even driven it he just had it delivered so, I, I don't even know how to drive this car. Um, I see I got a lever here, trigger, and a button. So, I'm pretty sure that's park all the way forward. I have a feeling when I click it there, that's probably going to be reverse. Um, and that's neutral, I bet. And you push that guy down to go back forward. Well, hold on, before we do that, then we click first, second. Oh, that's all the way. I must have missed one. Okay, then you go all the way up. And then this guy to push it forward push that thing in then it goes up then pull that and it goes all the way oh this is gonna be fun <laughs> and i don't even know what the button does okay we're gonna be extra careful backing this out oh i hear a noisy pump the 
button for reverse. It's so loud and violent too. and I can smell it. it. Smells kind of like race fuel more than E85. You know, regular pump E85. All right, we're gonna take it around the block. Just kind of experiment with this shifter's transmission setup. Just kind of learn how to drive it nice and easy before we get into tuning and running this thing hard. <laughs> Right, guys we just got our first test driving in the car uh, it's definitely quirky it's got a few issues it idles super high it doesn't run quite right but that's the whole reason it's here we're gonna throw a standalone in it the ms3 we're gonna convert it to flex fuel we're gonna switch it to pump e85 we're gonna get it off of this drum c85 uh, there's a few issues to address you know some cooling issues some noises i can hear a few things like that i see this uh cooling system here is leaking i also saw it leaking down the bottom under the car uh, IAT2s are real high as well, so we're going to have to look at that. Overall, we're just going to start pulling things apart and going through things, um, get wide bands installed, all the usual, and then start getting this thing running. So, yep, this should be a fun little project. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this. 